What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers report. And in this video, we have some big breaking news. So 2016 first round pick and 2017 first round pick for the Texas Rangers, Cole Reagans and Bubba Thompson will be called up to the major leagues today. And Cole Reagans will be starting for the Chicago White Sox because of the John Gray injury. And Bubba Thompson will be starting in left field and batting ninth. And I think this is a great opportunity to see what we have in our young guys. Now both Cole Reagans and Bubba Thompson aren't on the 40-man roster, so a corresponding move will have to be made. And as I'm recording this video, a move might have already been made, I'm not sure, but somebody will have to, two people will have to be DFA'd. In my opinion, that'll probably be Colby Allard and Andy Abanez, and that clears up a 40-man roster spot, but then you have to option somebody back down to the minors. So I think Josh Spores, the unlucky guy, gets sent back down to the minors, who had a good game the other day. And I think Elier, Elier Hernandez, the outfielder, gets option to the minors. And look out, he could be a candidate to get the DFA'd as well. But let's talk about these prospects. So this is the first time the Rangers have gotten their first round picks to the major league since Joey Gallo. And that is insane. Gallo drafted in 2012, made his debut in 2015. And so we've waited an entire seven years, seven years. That is crazy. I think we are getting on the right path with Josh Young. I think he is gonna be a stud. Cohen. We'll see, he's been struggling, but Jack Lyder, Kumar Rocker, Justin Foscue, those guys look like they could be major league contributors. But Cole Reagans, Bubba Thompson, they used to be top prospects in the organization. They've fallen off for different re reasons. Cole Reagans, he had two Tommy John surgeries back in the day. So his first season back in 2017, he was looking pretty good. And then he got Tommy John surgery, started pitching a little bit. And then he was told he had to get his second Tommy John surgery. And then the COVID season happened. So he goes without pitching for three entire seasons. So remember, this is the first round pick and he was looking like a top guy in the organization. Doesn't pitch for three whole seasons. Goes back and pitches in 2022. We start him off at high A Hickory. Dominates down there. And he gets sent to the Futures All-Star Game. Gets sent to Double A Frisco. Starts to slow down. And his numbers start to go up. Like his ERA and stuff like that. But I think it's because he hasn't pitched in three years. And I think he just got a little tired. But then he comes back this year, starts back off at Double A Frisco, and Cole Reagan shined again. So I think this could be an under the radar guy in the Rangers organization. Obviously, if you've been following our prospects in the organization, you've known Cole Reagan's for a while. But Cole Reagan's this year, 3.04 ERA, 29.3 strikeout percentage, and 8% walk percentage. And that is between both Double A Frisco and Triple A Round Rock. So could you imagine if Cole Reagan's never got those Tommy Johns and he, he stayed healthy, would he be tearing up in the major leagues right now? We don't know. He does have a tough competition to face right now versus the Chicago White Sox. They are a team with a bunch of righties and he's a lefty pitcher. So you'll be thinking, uh-oh, this could rock him. This could shake his confidence. But his best pitch is his changeup. And his changeup is insane. I got to see it in real life. And he'll probably throw that a ton tonight. I think at best, Cole Reagans could be a four or five starter in the rotation. At worst, a reliever. I hope him all the best in this major league debut. But I think it's awesome. Somebody that was looking like a bust. Um, not many people can come back from two Tommy Johns. And to make it all the way to the majors, congrats to Cole Reagans. Let's see how he does tonight. And Bubba Thompson, a toolsy center fielder, drafted in 2017 in the first round, could have gone and played college football as a quarterback that just shows how talented he is. What's slowed Bubba Thompson down? One, he's also been plagued by injuries in that COVID season and strikeouts. That's plagued him as well. But... Even though he's fallen down in the prospect rankings, I remember him being as high as five to four in our organization. He has always been the best athlete in our organization. So I think we are starting to build a logjam of players that can play center field. But since our 
outfield is so stacked they have to play left and right and that's not a bad thing that's a good thing to have could possibly open up trades down the road so we have garcia we have Tavares, eli white bubba thompson stephen duggar jp martinez the guy that we signed because we didn't get uh shohei otani all those guys can play center field so I, a lot of teams need center field help i do think somebody would probably get traded in the off season so just pay attention to that but bubba thompson has been raking down at triple a this year he has a nice speed and power combination now this will probably eat at cole calhoun's playing time i'm okay with that cole calhoun probably won't be on the team next year and outfield could be something we look at next year so like I said, we probably want to see what we have at Bubba Thompson, maybe JP Martinez down the road. Because before you maybe say sign an Aaron Judge or a Jock Peterson or Andrew Benatendi, why not see what we have in-house before we give out a bunch of money to those free agents? This last line this year is 303 with the on base of 355 and slugging of 474 that sounds amazing but in the pacific coast league which is super hitter friendly that's a little bit above average so at best i think bubba thompson could be a fourth outfielder on the team and a platoon guy so like i said i wish him the best tonight hopefully one of these guys becomes an impact big leaguer maybe reagan's a four or fifth starter in the rotation and maybe bubba thompson maybe a, a starting left fielder but we also have to be realistic as well. So uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Uh, tell me what you think the future outlook of these guys will be. It's super awesome that our first round picks actually made it to the majors. Doesn't mean they're gonna be amazing, but I think the trend of the player direction is headed in the right way. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.